This video is about a trip we just got back from. We took a sailing kayak nomad and a teardrop camper that I'd built for friends of ours up for a two week trip into Upper Peninsula, Michigan. There's the stopover initially on South Bass Island on Lake Erie. So that was a chance to get the Nomad into Lake Erie again and for the first time on any of the boats that I've designed and built get out on Lake Superior. So hope you enjoy the video. vacation we're getting prepped for a trip with this teardrop trailer that i helped make for friends of mine that was the first project after i'd built this shop finishing this trailer used a lot of the techniques materials as on uh, the boats with the same birch quarter inch plywood three quarter inch on the sides epoxy and glass on the top and hatch here did some repairs on one of the cabinets I'd made for the inside of it. It's gotten broken since we last borrowed it. I really love it. It's like a tent that you don't have to set up. And you can lean on the walls of inside. And has this awesome little semi-protected cooking area. Sorted out what goes inside on the road from the camping gear. It's so nice to be able to use this space for hauling and then when you get to camp, clear that out, put your bedding in and you've got your tent. And it's gonna be rain in the next two days. So we've been, been scouting our options and decided we're gonna go up and stop south of the heavy weather at uh, South Bass Island on Lake Erie. One of our favorite spots stay there a couple nights till this system moves out and then head on north up to lake superior shore with nomad nomadic trip sailing kayak we are about ready to go and here we're we, off here we go like a herd of turtles south for north dante the italian he was the figure of christ Cosmo up there in that dock one day. There's Perry Monument way out in the distance. But, uh, here we are. And I think I'm going to try to go for a little sail on Lake Erie. Nice little spot to launch off of. Star 
Coffee's on its way. See if I can get a little morning sail in and do some bike riding later today. Out of the dirty air. I think this is what we've got. A big old ferry boat weight came curling over and slopped a little bit into the boat. Make sure we can ride this chop. And that's Middle Bass, and then North Bass, and then Peely, Canada, that we see off in the distance. Fog's supposed to be lifting around now. Looks like it might be. There's Perry Monument, putting Bay around in there. Where we're gonna get back to on the campgrounds. There's that damn jet ferry that just about swamped me. <laughs> Giant series of two to three curling breaking waves. And uh, it caught me when I had very little headway in the wind shadow, so I had to grab a paddle, one arm, and ensure forward movement and stay into it. Scariest thing that happened so far in this morning. And that total delight. That's a little farther away this time. We'll see what the wake was like. When we get there, here comes the jet boat wake, and it's still occasionally breaking. Jeez. Fall off and quarter it there. Not really as bad as last time. There's the Ramp and park. One tack and we'll take the sails down and paddle in. All right, just about packed up. Now that thing is ready to close. Goodbye to the Cajun Ramblers. Heading from Ohio up to the, hopefully, Upper Peninsula. North Woods-ish. Uh, about 100 miles to where over the Mackinac Bridge on the Upper Peninsula and turn off for... Muscalage. The bridge. Destination ahead. Superior Lakeshore. a.m. last night Milky Way brilliant stars and planets dead flat calm and we're gonna go paddling first time on the trip paddling Maybe over there. I don't know how shallow it's going to get either.
little breeze moving. Sweet. Nice little breeze. started raining and we had prepared to pack up and managed to get it all loaded up and we are in mutasing and we're gonna make a plan it's supposed to rain all day and it's cold and then it'll get nice tomorrow so been looking forward to seeing this area this little bit of protected Lake Superior we found a hotel to wait the day of rain out it's right on this little cove of Superior Grand Island out there. There's a picture of rocks. The showers are just passing through. We have an hour or so before we got to check out of our hotel and move to KOA up the hill. I'm just dying to see whether I can sail on Lake Superior, even though it's cold. Later on, it's gonna get pretty windy. Wind's building already. Better warm that rudder up. There's a rock? There's a current. rocks start a little bit around uh, outside of this bay. Okay, I sailed on Lake Superior. <laughs> Sails are down, rudders up. Let's see if I can make my way back up against the current in this stream and miss these guys' fishing lines. Sun's back out. Sun's out now. Hooked so. up to the trailer, headed up to KOA. And... There's Deb. You think it was 39 degrees last night? 
That's gonna be a nice, nice day. We're gonna try to get on the water paddle and, and maybe a sail if there's enough air. We're driving out to Sand Point and a very mild breeze. We're thinking we're gonna paddle along the shoreline together. And then uh, if there's enough breeze, we'll get a little sail in on Superior. This is convenient. Got that. We're off. We're off. That's the old, I think, life saving station that we walked over. This really beautiful shoreline. This is Miner's Castle? Yeah, that's right. And so that's actual pictured rocks. Yeah. Starting over there. A lot of waterfalls around here. We're coming up to the point where I think the pictured rock thing starts. But yeah, the sandstone formations down along the waterline are kind of cool. Yeah, those little formations up there are neat. downwind and down waves it should be easier going back there's some point all right that was quite the paddle Up pretty shallow. How's that? Back there on the log. Grand Island ahead. Beautiful. Yeah, shoot across the Grand Island and back maybe. Pictured rocks. Miner's Tower, and coming up on Grand Island. Oh boy, uh, go till we start to see the bottom shelving up. That's uh, probably close enough. Guess there's a rock. Mm -hmm. A little bit of rock. I see me wife still sitting in her chair. One more attack or so, my lovely wife said it's okay. Not sure. That's a cool looking spot. Beautiful. Early fall come. Absolute 
trees. Hey, what a blast. Starting to reconfigure our space after living in here for a week. Trailer's all packed up and we're done with the camping phase we think of our trip. We're going to stay in a lodge last two nights. Much circuitous exploration. We are at Birch Lodge. And there's Trout Lake out there. Check out this lid. There, but this is solid 30 plus, I think, at the moment. Well, we managed to get launched. Just roll it down here, roll it over on top of the cushion, slid it over the cushion, off into the dock. Morning's quite a bit more calm than last night's gale, and we're going to go exploring. We're headed across Trout Lake towards a, a little cottage that I see with a roof line that is nice. And it's kind of gray and cold, but it's a pretty place. I don't know, it's back there somewhere. pads. I wonder what this stuff is. The fall colors are really nice now. Oh, it's a dog. The wolf. Me. I did hear wolves howl one night when we were camped. Pretty certain. Didn't sound like coyotes, certainly not like dogs. Huh. Okay, yeah, so we're in the other lake now. Remember what this one's called? Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, now we are under sail. Let's see if we get any decent breeze. To increase through the day, but pretty peaceful. On our way home. Beautiful morning out there, but it's cold. All right. Uh, just put these in the camper then. Yeah, leaving the UP. There it is. Lake Michigan. A beautiful, beautiful day. Lake Huron. Grass isn't too bad. Stay. Hey. 